I wanted to start by saying profoundly sorry that some of our alumni and our students have experienced the things that they're reporting to have experienced. We take this stuff very seriously and we deeply regret the kinds of experiences that are being reported and we're going to take action. I'm going to announce first of all today that we are launching an investigation into the allegations that have been made. Second, I want to say that we are working with students, staff and faculty in that program to understand their current experiences, to listen to them, to understand their, their current lived experiences. In our third initiative, we will be announcing a university-wide task force into the environment at Concordia, particularly with respect to treatment of students and sexual harassment, to make sure that we're providing the safest and best possible environment that we, that we can. This task force will be led by Deputy Provost Lisa Ostegi, who is a member of our faculty and senior leadership team. All the way back in 2014, Lisa began to lead for us a series of efforts to improve the climate at Concordia and to be ahead of, uh, ahead of such allegations. Most recently, there's been a working group pulled together, led by Lisa, to support our efforts to uh, come into compliance with new law 151 uh, that was passed by the government of Quebec earlier this year. And that working group will now be expanded into a task force that will be focused, as I said, on ensuring the best possible environment for students and members of the community here at the university. More details about that task force will be forthcoming. These are early days, as you know. We've uh, just received these complaints and we're moving as fast as we can and as carefully as we can to address them.